How's it going guys? Welcome back for another episode of Minecraft Sky Factory 4. With that, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it from where we left off last time around. Last time around, we planted our trees, we got our chest set up with all the things that we already had. And if you take a look into our book, we've completed the first little section here, except for eating dirt, which we can't do because we don't have the required materials to make a furnace, which means we can't cook an acorn, but we'll get to that hopefully this episode. Last episode, I was thinking that what we would do is go ahead and try to build out these trees right here, but instead, I think we're going to focus on the things up top rather than the things down below for now. The primary thing being cobblestone. I don't really know how we're going to get cobblestone, but I figure we will. Maybe the first thing that we could do to start off is read the description, because as I was saying that, I kind of slightly read the description and saw what we needed to do. So, <laughs> craft a cobblestone block using petrified acorns and resin, or using any other method. I'm assuming we just need a bunch of petrified stuff, and if that's the case, then we are in trouble as we have little to none. All right, so that means that our main quest is not to uh, make cobblestone at the moment. Our main quest is to instead make a axe and then cut down a bunch of these trees in the hopes to, well, that's awesome, in the hopes to get enough to make some cobblestone and even make a cobblestone generator. I don't know how cobblestone cobblestone generators work in this mod pack but uh that's one of the things we're gonna figure out this episode and hopefully by the end we'll have a nice cobblestone generator sitting right here but um yeah let's figure that out first thing i need to do is go ahead and plant some of these and get those harvested harvested so give me a minute and i will be right back so while we're in the process of waiting on everything to grow and us to get as much as we can out of the that's a piece of flint i want that please flint Oh, we can't get the flint. You want to know why? Because this. You may be wondering, Revelations, why is your inventory stocked to the max? Because I don't like the chest systems, and I've been told that there's a better way to do chest. So what I did is I went ahead and cut them in half and made half chest. And uh, yeah, so this is a half chest, a bunch of them. And there we go. So now we can hold this exact same amount just in like a little half chest format. So we have more instead of less for now, which, uh, which works for me. So I figure what we can do, instead of kind of keeping everything separated by tree, we'll just put resins together, like this, and then we'll put acorns in one, resins in one, because I feel like I figured that will take up less room and be better. I may be wrong, and I may end up redoing all of this at some point, but for now, resins seem to be, like, the best... This seems to be the best way to do it. And then I'll put, like, miscellaneous stuff and food over here because, like, I don't know what to do with it. And, like, bone mill and clay and stuff like that there, maybe. And wood here. Sure. Why not? So now let's get back to uh, getting some petrified stuff. After a mini a millennia, I feel like I have finally gotten enough needed to uh, do what I need. This was the last batch of trees. Some more stuff is going to end up falling as we go from these uh, leaves that something just did. But I think we have enough in the way, as you can see, we got a lot more petrified saplings now, a ton more petrified acorns, which is exactly what we needed. So let's just take all of those. I don't know if I have any more in here. I don't think I do. And then a lot of petrified sapling or sap or resin as well, which is exactly what we need. So we should, if I'm right, be able to now turn this into the needed cobblestone. And if so, that is going to be a big boost for us in both the means of tools and just building supplies in general so let's make as much as we possibly can i think we're good there let's just split these in half uh we need to split the acorns in half we may be coming up on our end very fast uh we need more of the resins i think this is going to be our last batch right here yep we're done all right so we were able to make 48 cobblestone all together not a ton but definitely enough to kind of get us started because my big thing was I wanted to be able to do this. Two of those, please. This here. Boom. 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 Bop. Pow. Uh, we don't need a sword. Do we need a pickaxe? If we have cobblestone, then yeah, we're going to end up needing a pickaxe at some point. So let's go ahead and make one. And we are going to need a hoe as well, but I don't really have the stuff necessary. So we're just going to ignore it and act like we don't need it instead. Boom. There we go. We got some tools. We got another petrified sapling that we can throw away. And now let's check out our book. Cobblestone done. Sweet. What is this? 
craft door, create a cobblestone generator, and fill all the slots of the vanilla chest. Open the chest. Okay, so we have to cre create a cobblestone generator. But now that we have enough cobblestone, I think the big primary thing should be doing this right here. Boom. Splitting it in two into furnace slabs, which is perfect because now we have two furnaces instead of one. And uh, we can put these right um, on the back side over here. We need to build out a little bit more so that we don't we have we we're not in danger of falling every time we walk over here but uh whatever we live life on the edge get it but uh, <laughs> okay so next thing we need to do is take our clay what in the world take our clay bucket that we made earlier and go ahead and fry that up in the um furnace we can also cook a nut yes please so that we can finish up with our quest for that so let's cook up a nut using one of those and let's cook up a pot using one of those i think this will do one item exactly let's see maybe yep so we got our clay bucket which is sweet and we got our acorn which now gives us an achievement and a food source so we're going to end up needing to make a lot more of those but we'll save that for another time but now we do have a bucket that is ready to be used for water so that will be awesome once ever we get enough water and actually i think we have enough now so go ahead and grab some out of it. Nope, we don't have near enough. We need a thousand, not 200. So we'll put that back for now and uh, we'll wait till we get a little bit more water in there. So let's open up the book and see what we want to do next up here. Um, we're not going to be able to get a, we're not going to be getting a lava bucket anytime soon because we don't know how to get lava quite yet. Um, we might be able, we can make a stone crook now. That's going to be something that might come in handy. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. So boom, boom, and stone crook. And you know what I do with stone crooks? I send them out into the nether because who needs a stone crook? Not me. All right, I just wanted to do it to complete the quest. Next, I think uh, we actually might want to go ahead and build a sapling. What is this? Um, collect rainwater in a cauldron or by jumping on a sapling in the crushing tub and using a clay bucket to, or iron bucket. Oh, sweet, so we can go ahead and get that achievement as well. So let's open up our sapling box, wherever that is, here it is. Which one do we have the most of? Um, petrified saplings, it looks like. So let's put them in here. Jump on eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll take the rest of them back because I really don't want to waste all of them. I keep opening every chest except the right chest, so forgive me. But we're gonna go ahead and grab some water. Boom, water is waiting for you. And put it in the cauldron. Sweet. And now we're good. Next is a cobblestone. We can't do that until we get the generator. We can't get a generator quite yet. Uh, hot boys, we can't do this because I don't know how to get um, lava. So let's go ahead and figure that out real quick. The best way I can do that is by typing in lava. There we go. We can click lava. And the best way to get it is from a cauldron by putting cobblestone into an empty cauldron. Uh, sweet. So how do we make a cauldron? Just stone? If all you need is stone, then we're about to be done with that as well. So boom, 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 boom. Boom, cauldron. So now... We need to put one down. Let's just put this next one down right here. But from playing enough modded packs, I do know something that most people kind of forget or don't really think about. You need a torch under here in order to make the cauldron heat up. So we need to get down here and hopefully be able to place a torch. Doesn't seem like we're gonna be able to, which is not good, but what we can do is just for now do that. It's gonna look ugly, but we're not really we don't really care about looks right now as much as we do getting things done and getting them done right. So let's jump up here. Boom, 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 boom. We now have a bucket full of lava. If we take this bucket right now, we're gonna end up losing this, but what we can do instead is water there, and now we have obsidian. Can we use obsidian? I don't think so, and I really don't wanna accidentally place it down and not be able to mine it for like the next rest of the game. So let's just act like we don't have it and leave it aside for now. So that's a, that's a couple quests right off the bat, done like that, which is sweet. This is, uh, we want to create lava by using right click on cauldron. We just did that. Obtain a lava clay bucket, obtain a lava iron bucket. All right, so we can do half of that right now. Once we put the lava in this bucket, it is going to basically permanently destroy this bucket. Not right off the bat, but as soon as we ever use this lava bucket, it will destroy the clay pot. So it's not really worth it, but at the same time, I really want to mark some stuff off the list. So there we go, now we have a lava bucket for later. And I think we're actually gonna need a lava bucket to make a cobblestone generator in a moment. So I think that is our next task. So let's look at what we need to do to get the lava, 
or the cobblestone generator going because I think that's more important than these for right now. So let's check that out. So we want a cobblestone generator. There we go. So we're not gonna get the tier two. We are going for tier one though. So we need, so six cobblestone, two buckets and a piece of glass. Glass comes from sand. We don't have a way to get the sand yet. So do we still have six cobblestone? I wanna make sure we reserve six cobblestone no matter what happens. We also need the lava bucket, which means that we're gonna need another piece of clay. We do have clay saplings, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we have enough to make a clay. So we have, we need four clay acorns or clay acorns, and then we need five clay there. Turn over here. Boom, 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 boom. Dunka, 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 dunka. No, not the rain. God, no, not the rain. I hate the rain in this game. Whatever. All right, so now we have clay. We have enough. Put it right here. Boom, boom, boom. Nope. There we go. Take that out. We're going to need to fire this, which means that we are basically just going to need to heat it up. So let's do this. Come over here. We want to play wood, and then this should be done. And we should get water from the rain in the cauldron, right? I don't know how that really works, but just in case that's not how it works, let's just go ahead and crush some more water or crush some more leaves to make water. All we need is tin, but we can go ahead and crush all 12 of these because why not? There we go, and it's crushed. So, what I'm gonna cut, uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna cut because we actually need to do some stuff that I've not done before, and I don't really know how to do it. And I want you to be there with me for that process because that's the fun part. That is where we grow together as one. We are gonna need the water bucket. So we're almost there. We have the water bucket, we have the six, and now we just need sand. To make sand, we need, I don't know, sand. All right, so we don't have any of this stuff yet. We need, okay, so sand and sand resin. How do you get sand acorns? From a sand tree. How do you get a sand sapling? From a petrified sapling surrounded by sand acorns. How do you get a sand acorn? Uh, how do you get a sand acorn? How do you get a sand acorn? Because I can't surround these until I make a sand acorn, and I can't make a sand acorn until I, oh, crushing tub, put a pet, a gravel acorn. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight gravel acorns, that's it. So let's find our eight gravel acorns. Uh, we got three, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, there we go, misclicked a little bit. Let's put these in the crushing tub and we should be good. This is going pretty quick, I'm happy with this. Should also fill us up on some sap, which is gonna be nice for us. So two more and boom, grab that. Now we need our petrified sapling which is here there it is and we are good and we now have our first ever sand tree or sand sapling which will become our first ever sand tree which is perfect there we go and we might be able to do this a lot quicker than expected but in the nature of sky factory there's no way i'm just going to take the bare minimum for this what i'm going to do is wait for this to decompose for a second grab its saplings I'm gonna plant them and I'm gonna get a couple stacks of all the stuff that you can get from a sand tree so I never have to do this again. I shall be right back. So I'm happy to say I am finally done grinding out the sand stuff and we have the primary things we need to make a piece of sand. And you may be saying, well, why do you need sand? And if that's the question you're asking, I ask you a question. Why haven't you been paying attention? No, I'm kidding. It's completely understandable if you don't know. The reason is because we need to make one piece of glass. And you may ask, why do you need a piece of glass? And I'll ask, why aren't you paying attention? And I'm kidding once again, because it's completely understandable. Maybe this is in the background. Maybe you're not really paying attention. Maybe it's okay. It is okay. So the reason is so I can do this. Boom, boom, and boom. Look at this. It's magic. I have a cobblestone generator as of, one second as of now. Boop, cobblestone generator. Woo! I am finally there. I am rich. I'm rolling in the cobblestone, baby. Let's lay that down right here. And what this does is every tick, it will provide me with a single cobblestone. And another tick, another cobblestone. And another cobblestone. And another one, and another one. Oh, well, you gotta wait, it's a little bit slow. And another one, but it will stack up to 32, so we will never again have to mess with the stupid petrified saplings that we always have to deal with. But now we are rolling in the cobblestone, baby. And it is wonderful, which means that it's gonna help us 
get a lot better and a lot better and more better over time and it's gonna be great let's look at what the next thing is we got a cobblestone generator we're not gonna be able to do either of these anytime soon I did look into those but what we can do really quick is try to do both of these so next is cotton so you got you cotton be kidding me that's that was wrong but okay cotton so we want a cottonwood sapling let's click it we need to first get a jungle sapling to make this which means that we need to put a clay sapling in mud easy so clay sapling first we need two of these because we need one of them to make vines that's not saplings clay sapling needed please anywhere okay clay sapling we need two of those we are going to put you in mud please you in mud was that right no give me those back you in mud dang it all right so we need one more mud um you get mud by crushing dirt right so we need dirt which means that we have to make a single dirt oh no not all of this all right we have to make a single dirt which means five of these and four of let's go ahead and put these up by the way we need four of these boom boom um here there we go the one dirt we only need one dirt because we need another hundred mud for it to make a bucket's worth so there we go that should give me one bone mill which i don't care about get out of here bone mill you are not wanted or welcome um next we want to put our bucket full of mud right they're both filled with water well dang it okay so let's empty this by breaking it putting it back down putting mud in it putting clay yep there we go we have two jungle saplings now and then a jungle sapling should turn into vines no it doesn't okay how do you make vines uh first you have to download an app that has died many many millennia ago ah uh, that will only be understood by like a very select few there we go one's there we have to wait for it to do its thing while it does its thing we need to put a sand sapling in water i believe yeah to get the birch sapling whoop, whoop. there we go birch sapling secured um birch sapling is going to be able to do something for us later i just don't remember what it was uh craft a sand sapling craft a coal sapling how do you make coal sapling because that's what I want the most, and that's where we'll end the video is with the coal sapling. We just have to click it. We gotta smelt one of these. Boom, baby, boom. All right, uh, let's just go ahead and empty this out, because why not? And then let's burn out a coal sapling using a one of those, I guess, or two of those. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. It was indeed enough. Yep, we're good. Coal sapling. Woo! That's another sapling for us. And that is a normal tree, which hopefully will drop an apple. And if that drops an apple, we can make apple seeds, which will make us normal trees, which will allow us to have a common source of food besides cooked nuts. Because nobody wants to eat cooked nuts every day of their life. It gets tiresome. Nobody wants them. Nobody. All right, let's put both of those in there. We have our jungle sapling. We have our vines now. And I don't remember what resins we needed, but I know that we needed some. So let's just, instead of worrying about it, let's just grab some of each, I guess. Uh, clay. There we go. We have some of each. We should be able to do it now. And we need a cotton sapling. Boom. Boom. Ah, oh, we didn't need any resin. I'm a dummy. We needed a bunch of the bone mill. And by a bunch, I literally mean three. So I kind of over-exaggerated it. Three. That was four. But you know what? I can count. It's okay um this there that there cottonwood sapling boys look at that now we have three brand new trees that we're not going to mess with right now all these trees are going to be left for next episode as i think this might look like a nice little pretty uh thumbnail for the video and that's what matters is a thumbnail for the video right and speaking of thumbnail for the video i'm gonna brick i almost had a heart attack dude i really really i really, <laughs> i really thought that thing was about to go flying off the end and if that was the case I would have cried inside and i would have been very sad so we got that we got this it's in the bag let's see what else we can do really quick um not much i'm not going to worry about any of that yet and i think this is a great place to call a quick stop yeah this is nice um i think next episode we're going to more focus on storage because i really don't like the, the idea of these chests lasting for too much longer and we might even uh, build out a little bit or have a stream on Thursday where we build the island out a little bit more. But uh, yeah, we'll see.
But for now, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I don't know how the map got big again, but uh, it's okay. I don't know at what point the map got big, but we're going to try to figure out how to turn that off at some point later on. Uh, disable mapping, is that possible? Nope, that's not the thing. Either way, I will figure this out myself. This is not a you problem. This is a me problem. So with that, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching the video. It means a lot to me, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know in the comments. Again, it makes the channel grow. I'm a very small channel, so every like, every comment, every subscriber means a ton, and I will look at and reply to almost every comment I possibly can on a daily basis. So on a last note for the 30,000th time, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series, and I will see you next Tuesday for another Minecraft Sky Factory. I will see you then. Peace out.